God uh, for another day that the Lord has made, another day to rejoice and be glad. And certainly we greet those who are viewing us through Facebook this morning. We're always glad that you join in and tune in to our service. And we welcome you uh, to the Pilgrim Rest Mission at Baptist Church in the city of Gary. And certainly we thank God for our church family that is here this morning with us already. And it is a good day. Uh, it is a blessed day. Another day that the Lord has given to us. Uh, we are again the third month of the year. And this is the seventh day. And it is on a first Sunday. And so we are glad uh, just to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Uh, at this time, we're going to open with our scripture from Psalm 107, verse 1 and 2. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes. For his mercy endureth forever. Thank you, Lord. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Amen. God bless you. We do want to uh, thank God for his word and thank God for that opening scripture to get us started this morning. And we're looking forward to having a wonderful time in the Lord. Amen. Uh, Lord has certainly smiled on us this day, and we all were able to rise this morning and see another day, a sunshiny day. Amen. I just love to see that sun. Me too. And that sun, when it shines like this, it can have an effect on us too. Amen. And certainly we thank the Lord today for some sunshine. And so at this time, we're about prepared to uh, go further now and we do pray that you will, as they say, join in, as the old saying, let go and let God uh, have his way. Amen. Amen. So if we come together uh, with that in our spirits, we certainly can touch and agree today. And we do thank the Lord uh, for being able to have a house to come into. Uh, I just say that quickly before uh, the voices of the pilgrim rest will come, uh, because we thank God that the door has been open. Uh, well, we can come, but well, we can also, uh, as they say, televise it live through Facebook uh, for the benefit of others. And so God has been good, and we just have to thank him because uh, they have said, I think just a few days ago, uh, about our first cases, well, about a year ago, uh, I think in probably Indiana and other places, but look at where we have come in a year's time. Amen. Uh, truly. The Lord has been good, and, and he has blessed us uh, to be survivors and overcomers. Yes, yes. Amen. And, and that is not nothing uh, to knock about those who have gone on, because uh, we know that that is appointed unto us to die. But, but we just don't know when, we don't even know the means. Amen. But those of us who are still alive have a lot to be grateful for. Amen. Amen. So God bless you. At this time... Uh, voice of the Pilgrim Rest, let's come now and give us a opening selection as we prepare to go forth in our worship. <laughs>
bless God. Yes, sir. He has washed away our sin. And we thank Amen. God uh, for the voice of Pilgrim Rats, our musicians as well. And thank them for that opening selection uh, for this day. Uh, because I pray we don't forget about the blood. Amen. Amen. Because Jesus shed it for our uh, benefit. And, and I am glad that the blood can cover you. Yes. And thank you. And we some protection now. Uh, that only his blood can provide. And so we thank the Lord uh, that he was the ultimate sacrifice. He is the Lamb of God. Yes. And he was slain. Uh, but he is alive now. Yes, uh, he is. So we praise God uh, for that moment that we can reflect upon that blood that saved us, that blood that redeemed us, yes. that blood that washed us. Yes. And certainly uh, we thank God for Savior's blood. Amen. At this time, uh, it is uh, time for prayer, and we are always glad uh, that we can take a moment uh, to have a talk with God. I pray that we all do it personally uh, because you are His children. Amen. And any child that has a parent, uh, I'd love to want to talk with that parent, spend some time. Uh, with that parent and so we uh, thank God that he is our father and that's what Jesus did for us by giving us another father uh, who is heavenly and eternal and we thank God that uh, he listens for his children yes. and he cares about us and so uh, we do want to uh, get ready uh, to just name uh, those that we have on our heel list today uh, I do want us to remember uh, Brother James Basia, uh, Melvin Bell. I'm glad uh, he is here today. Hallelujah! Uh, Amen. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Melvin had been in the hospital this uh, week, but we thank God uh, he was able to be released and uh, return home. Let's uh, uh, keep uh, Mother uh, Tipton, certainly in our prayers. Uh, she uh, had returned from Indianapolis, was home for a little bit, and then had to go back to the hospital. And so we just uh, ask that you pray for her. Uh, because uh, we know that now at this point, uh, things have kind of changed, but we trust her in God's hands. And, and God's got her no matter uh, how things might appear from our physical uh, standpoint. Uh, let's uh, keep Senator Johnson in prayer. Uh, Brother James Jones, uh, Deacon Todd Ross, who we want to uh, keep in prayer, lift him up today. Uh, Mother Dorothy Taylor, uh, who is in South Lake Methodist. Uh, then we want to uh, remember uh, Sister Jacobs at Van Buren and her family. Uh, she also wants us to uh, keep her mother uh, in prayer, uh, Sister Antoinette Duncan and also her sister, Sharon uh, Parrish. And so we want to keep them in our prayers and thank them for reaching out uh, that we will pray for them. Uh, also, let's keep all bereaved families because uh, we want to keep lifting up families during this time, this pandemic that is still uh, certainly um, among us, but it's not as bad and I feel as it once was. Uh, Things, there's a lot of, as they say, hope that we are now sensing. And I just really give that credit to God uh, because uh, he is the one that can certainly turn things around and can wipe out uh, anything that uh, is present in our life. And so let's keep certainly praying for those who are still battling uh, the virus uh, because uh, it's not a time to just say we're going to stop doing what we're doing because we ain't got the okay yet. But uh, we do want to just start, start to stay with the guidelines that have been given to us. Um, I do want us to remember all sick and shut in, uh, hospitalized. Let's keep them in our prayers. Uh, let's continue to pray for the frontline workers, uh, nurses, uh, doctors, uh, policemen, firemen, uh, anybody that we know that is out there daily in some form of service. Let's uh, keep them lifted up. Uh, let's also pray for these vaccines. Thank God for three. Amen. 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 And, and really, it's your choice now of what vaccine you want to take. 
And, and I'm so grateful that I can say today that on Wednesday, I will get my first shot. I don't know, I don't know, on last Sunday, I, I must have uh, 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 stirred some or prophesied something. Uh, because on Monday of last week, it was 55 and up. But then by Wednesday, thank you, Governor Hope. Uh, it was 50 and up. Right. And so, so I, uh, as soon as I got that news, I just went on the register. So I'm looking forward uh, to being able to say on next Sunday that I got my shot and I get that second one in 21 days, whenever. But uh, this is why uh, we want to encourage others. And, and one thing I think we as in the Baptist Ministers Conference, we want to try to be example uh, to our people and encourage them that we want to let you see that we believe in, you know, getting this done. And, and there's nothing I feel to be afraid. And the reason why God didn't give us the spirit of fear. Amen. And, and I know we say that, we as they say, quote that, but we got to believe that. He did not give us the spirit of fear, but he gave us power, love, and a sound. And you can live with that. Amen. Power, love, and a sound. You can survive with those three things. And guess what? And guess what? They defeat fear. Amen. We got power, we got love, and we got sound mind. And so, so we thank God for that. And let's keep, uh, certainly our school, let's continue to keep praying for that matter, for yes. teachers and students. Yes. Um, so glad that some of them have been able to go back in person. And thank God right now we haven't received any negative reports yet. Amen. Uh, so we're praying that it will continue. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. Because we do want to be able to see some sense of normalcy at some point. I don't know if it's going to be, as they said before, the virus, uh, things going to go back there, but I, I'm, I just don't feel in my heart that it will, but God is going to help us uh, wherever the changes we got to adjust to. Uh, let's keep our nation, certainly, and our world in our prayers, and then finally, let's uh, keep lifting up our families um, and all our loved ones. And so, so at this time... I believe uh, those are all the requests uh, that we want to uh, be made known, but I encourage you uh, right now, if you have anything that's on your heart, just say something to God right now. Amen. Give it to him right now because he knows your voice. And, and I love saying that because that tells you why our God is awesome. We can all, as they say, talk right now and he can identify every voice right yeah, now. Yeah, because yeah. nobody can be, listen, too loud than the other that God can't know who you are. Yeah, yes, that's just how awesome he is. And so so at this time, if we're ready, let us bow. God, our Father, we come this morning. We certainly thank you for another day that you have blessed us to see. We thank you, Lord, for being alive, for waking us up this morning. Thank you for our health and our strength. We thank you for our minds that certainly you have kept. And so, God, we just want to come now just to let you know, oh, Lord, how much we love you, how much we appreciate your goodness, we appreciate your mercy, your grace. We appreciate God so much that you are doing in our behalf. So God, we thank you right now. We thank you for keeping us. Yes, Even with what we may go through physically, yes, mentally, oh God, whatever it is that may be, oh Lord, afflicting us, you have still kept us. And we thank you right now. So God, we pray right now that you remember these that we have made known. We pray, oh God, for every name that we have lifted up today. Praying for Mother Tipton, Lord, and also Mother Taylor, that you remember both of these, oh God, who certainly you have let live some significant number of years, and while they are in the twilight, as some would say, they are still able to still be here. So God, we thank you right now. But God, we pray that you touch them, and we pray that you will keep them, Lord, and comfort them, Lord, as only you can. And so God, bless them. In the name of Jesus, bless Brother James Jones today. Continue to remember him, oh God. You know what he's going through. And I know you're able to keep him, oh Lord, in your care. So do it right now in the name of Jesus. 
Then, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you remember, Lord, the Jacob family and remember her mother and her sister. Remember them right now as they too seek your face, as they too seek you, Lord, to heal and, oh, Lord, to make whole and make well again. So do it right now in the precious name of Jesus. And then, Lord, we pray that you remember, Lord, even all those, oh, Lord, that we may not know by name, but you know who they are. And we pray that you will just continue to touch and heal right now. Bless Brother Bell. Lord, we thank you for his presence and we pray you will continue to take care of him and touch him, Lord. Do it, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Remember Brother Ross today, oh God, who we are missing today. But Lord, you know what he needs. You know how to touch him and strengthen him when he's weak. And so God, just build him up even way he's torn down. So do it right now in the precious name of Jesus. And then, Lord, we just pray that you remember, oh, Lord, those that are in hospitals right now, those who are shut in their homes, those right now that don't even know, oh, God, who they might be. But, God, we pray that you just touch right now and do it right now in the name of Jesus. Then, Lord, we pray for our frontline workers. Continue, Lord, to help those men and women. Lord, help them, cover them, protect them. Keep them safe, oh, God. Going to and fro, even on the job. Let them be safe and covered right now in the name of Jesus. And then, Lord, we pray for our children and for the schools and for the teachers. Help that situation, oh God. Let it be safe, Lord. The environment, Lord, be one that they can be in, in comfort in. And, oh Lord, not worry, oh God, if there's anything there that will harm them. So do it in the name of Jesus. And then, Lord, we just pray that you lift up this nation. Oh, Lord, remember our leader. Help him. Oh, Lord, even as he tries to lead us, let him have the cooperation, Lord, that, let, that the work will be done and things will be done. Oh, God, do it in the name of Jesus. Remember the nation, the world. Remember all people right now because there's a need for you everywhere because we realize that we can't make it without you, oh, God. So, God, we just pray you're blessed right now. Remember, oh, Lord, the vaccines that have now come on the scene, that they will be something that will help aid us, help cover us, and protect us against this virus, oh, God. So do it right now and make it available to everyone that will have it, oh, God. So do it as our prayer. And then, oh, Lord, we pray, Lord, for our families today, for our children, for husbands, for wives, we pray, Lord, for family relationship. We pray, oh God, that you will touch right now and do it right now in the name of Jesus. And then, Lord, as we come to a close, we pray for all of us that are in the house right now. We thank you, Lord, for enabling us to come. We thank you for assembling in this place. We thank you for letting it be in our hearts, being on our minds, to want to come to the house of the Lord on this Sunday morning. So God bless us in our gathering right now. And don't only do it for us. Remember every church that's open in your name. And remember your servants who will bring forth your word. Let your word go forth and accomplish your purpose. So God, we thank you. We praise you, Lord, for everything that we believe you're going to do. So God, if there's anything that we have failed to ask, please don't fail to grant it. It's in Jesus' name we pray. We thank God and amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Before the voices come, we do just want to make uh, just some announcements because uh, there are some things I guess I need to uh, make known before uh, this week. Uh, on Tuesday, we will uh, have 10 a.m. prayer service uh, on our conference call. Uh, but on Wednesday, uh, the district uh, will be having its board meeting at 6 p.m. at Holy Bethel for those that can come, but there will also be a Zoom link uh, for that meeting for those that may need that information or the conference call. Uh, but Thursday, and I, that's why I'm making this announcement, Thursday at 7 p.m. we will have prayer service on that night. So, so I want us to uh, still know that we're gonna have it, maybe we're not gonna be able to do it on Wednesday. But we will do it Thursday at 7 p.m. because of those of us who are involved with the district. Uh, and I know we won't be out in time uh, to have it on Wednesday. So I'm substitute Thursday night. 
Okay, and, I, and I'm doing that for the benefit of those that might be viewing us, that they will know about the changes. Tuesday at 10, but Thursday at 7 p.m. will be the Wednesday, will be the Thursday night prayer service. All right, so so that is what I wanted to uh, let be known before we, uh, as they say, go off Facebook Live, because I, I will say that again after we off Facebook. <laughs> Amen, just for the benefit of keeping us uh, aware of it. And so, so God bless you, and certainly we thank God uh, for this month of March, this is uh, Women's History Month. Amen. 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 For those women that did not know that, this Amen. is Women's History Month. Amen. And so, so they're going to be, as they say, a lot of things you may see in the news on TV that's highlighting uh, the accomplishment of women. And this is women of color. It's just not, uh, as they say, like a Black History Month, but it's a History Month for women. Amen, of all races. And, and so we really thank God for the women because uh, truth be told, there will be none of us without a woman. Amen. Amen. That's, that's, a man could do a best Amen. <laughs> and so we, uh, as they say, thank God that he knew what was best. That's why he looked at Adam. And God said it was not good that he should, what, be alone. Yeah. Adam didn't say nothing about it, but God did. Yeah. And God let us see what marriage was supposed to be like. Yeah. <laughs> it's what God, as they say, has put together. Yeah. Let no man put us up. Yeah. Amen. And, and that's the whole key, what God has. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So bless you at this time. Let's get ready uh, to hear from the voice of the pure rest. <laughs>
wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. It is excellent in all the earth. Amen. Amen. I just believe it's a name that should be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. Yeah. We praise God for being acquainted with that name because you know demons tremble yeah. at the name of Jesus. Yeah. And somebody said, the more you call for yeah. it, the better you feel. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And so, so there's something about that name. Yeah. Uh, and it is excellent. That's just one description of that. It's, it's excellent. Yes. And, and all the earth. Yes, and, it is. and aren't you glad that God gave him a name that is above every name? Yes. And yes. here it is that at the name of Jesus, yes. every knee shall bow. Yes. Every tongue shall confess that he is Lord to yes. the glory yes. of God. And certainly we thank God just for that moment. I want to thank our uh, voices of Phil Rest and our musicians always for blessing us, uh, certainly with that selection. And I'm just uh, one of those uh, that love to hear these songs that Amen. have grown a little older, as they say, but Amen. they just seem to get better with time. Uh, we just can't let go of some songs that I think is just neat to hang around with the church. Amen. And, and not only that, but be in our spirits. Because uh, we need to know that there's a song I think I could just recall at times. And, and just, as I guess, when I'm by myself and you by yourself, you can just sing that song. Yeah. You know, I, I used to love to hear my father sing, I love the Lord. He heard my cry. And I tell you, really, I'm singing. You know, he can pull that thing. That's what he said. Amen. And, and so, we, so we thank the Lord. Uh, for that because uh, I'm telling you, it's a lot of, uh, as they say, meaningfulness in a lot of songs yes, that are acquainted with the church. Yeah. And certainly we thank God for that song. And, and certainly we pray that it has blessed somebody, just reminded somebody, just of something about Jesus. And, and, and that's what it was about. But uh, at this time, uh, it is time that we would share a word and Thank God for giving us a word uh, each time that we are able to stand before you uh, because I just believe that this is a unique time for preachers. And, and I thank God that he has done a lot with us preachers during this pandemic, uh, that we have certainly kept our charge. Uh, we could have, as they say, uh, when we got closed in, uh, just be off on a Sunday. <laughs> but that was not the case. God let technology be available where we can do from our homes uh, on a Sunday. And, and thank God for that experience. I'm, I'm just so grateful that the Lord has given us, us some experiences that we can just look at and thank God for it. Because uh, that's, uh, that's why sometimes we need to thank God for some trials. Amen. I, I just believe they are there to make you strong. Yes, Lord. And, and let you have a more godly focus on believing that if I say now unto him that is able, yeah. yes, I'd have been there to know that. Yeah. I'm, I'm not saying on oh, just what I heard. Yeah. Uh, I just don't believe you can't talk about God but you ain't experienced God. That's right. That's right. You, you need to, as they say, know him for yourself. Yes, sir. Yes. And so as we look to uh, the word of God from Psalm 121, and we want to uh, preach from that Psalm 121, that you'll find these words, I will lift up my eyes into the hills from which cometh my help. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. Yes, sir. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. And finally, verse 8, the Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Hallelujah. Praise God. And I just like to uh, just use their simple thought. You can depend on God. Yes, sir. 
I think that's what that song really bears proof of. You can depend on God. Let us bow. God, we thank you, certainly right now, for being able to stand again before your people at this appointed time. We pray that you use us, oh God, for your purpose, for your will, that those that will hear this word will be blessed, yes, will be strengthened, Lord, and be encouraged. Yes. And let them even have a greater, oh Lord, belief in you as a result of it. So God, we thank you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you. We do want to thank the Lord for being able to stand before you again and be able, able to uh, just bring this word today. Uh, because I know in times like these, we need to hear from the Lord. We need to know that uh, God cares. Yes. And he wants us to believe that he cares for each of us. And so as we uh, have heard uh, the words of this 121st Psalm, uh, they are words that give us hope, confidence, and assurance. Because the writer uh, who is not identified, he gives a personal testimony of his own conviction of God. And then he proceeds to convince others about God. And you find that all of that is in this song. Because one thing we ought to do is talk about the God we serve. Yeah. Anybody been talking about God to somebody? Anybody been telling them about what he's done for you, who he is. I just believe that we who are the redeemed of the Lord ought to be saying so. Because your testimony might just be what they need to hear. They will convince them that God is a. And that's why I say to all of us, don't, amen, take your testimony for granted. Your testimony has some proof of God that's mixed in. Yes. Uh, it is something valuable to the ear of somebody that needs to know that if he did it for you, he can do it for me. Yes. And, and so therefore, he wants us to tell somebody who he is. Yes. And, and if I just pause there for a moment, because all of us have our own way of telling somebody who he is to us. Because I can I tell it like Sister Lomax back there about who he is? But all I can tell God uh, about God is about who he is to me. And no matter the difference of who we say he is, here it is, he's still God. And, and so man, one thing about this is that he has disappointed so many people. Y'all know that? Yeah. And, and, and if I put us on blast, we all have to. Yeah. Yeah, we, we all have disappointed somebody. And, 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 and the reason why, because we have put more dependence on ourselves than we have on God. And, and that's why when, you know, so many need to know who they can depend, they, we need to tell them that they can depend on God. Because this 124th Psalm is a reminder for anyone who needs someone they can depend on. Now, now anybody here needs somebody that you can depend on? And, 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 and I, I know if you don't say nothing that you do because we all need somebody. Amen. Yes, we want to depend on husband and wife. We want to depend on our children. We want to depend on brother and sister. But, but we have to understand we can't put it all on them. And, and so it is it's important, brothers and sisters, that we hear these words very carefully. And, and we got to understand that this writer was trying to help those who would receive this. Because it seems like it's so easy, if you hear me right now, to depend on each other. Amen. And uh, you, you may not say that right now, but your actions have proven to you that, oh, yeah, I depend on them because I, I, I know them, I, I know their character, I know their words have value, but we feel that way because uh, of this. It might be family, and it might be friends. And, and, and we don't expect them, here it is, to let us down. Amen. And we don't expect that, do we? But I think some of us know they have. 
Amen. I, I, I know my assignment said. <laughs> some of us know that some family and some friends have let us, but going in, we thought. Yeah, that, that yes, I can depend on my family and my friends. But but you and I know it will happen, don't we? We know that they will let us down. And in fact, it has happened. Amen. And it may happen again. And, and the reason why, because we can't all, listen, they can't always come through. Y'all know that? Sometimes we put too much trust on each other. And that's pressure if you don't realize that. That when we trust somebody so much that when they don't come through like we expect, then our feelings are hurt and we're angry with them. Mm -hmm. Amen. But but I'm going to speak in defense of them because they meant well, didn't they? Mm -hmm. But here it is. Because of our limitations, and, and I think we forget that we are limited people. Amen. I, I don't see no superman or superwoman in the house. Amen. But I see people that have a lot of imperfections and limitations. And, and, and because of that, we can't always depend upon one another. Because guess what? Things happen. Things that happen, listen, out of my control. But this is why Psalm 118 and 8 would say this. It's better to put confidence in in God or in the Lord mm -hmm. than to put it in man. It's better to trust in him. And so therefore, if you need someone you can really depend on, my question is why not God? Amen. Amen. You didn't try everybody else. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Some have come through. Some have failed you. But I want to talk about somebody who won't do it. Amen. Amen. And guess what? He has a long history of being a God you can depend on. Yeah. And, and I say that because when I look at the word of God, when I start from Genesis to Revelation, oh. I see a long history where God has been one you can depend on. Yeah. Listen, Adam would not sin if he was just dependent on God Amen. and what God said. And, and so therefore, God, listen, brothers and sisters, can be dependent on because the proof is right here before us. Yeah. You know, it moves us as we look at this closely from personal to persuading. It, it moves from confessing to convincing. Now this psalm is an answer for every one of us. Because there are times when we don't know what to do. Which I feel is a setup for God. Amen. I, I, let me say that again because I think somebody hear me there. there. There's times that you and I don't know what to do. Yes, but here it is. That's when it's a setup for God. Amen. Amen. And, and I'm glad that God allows it to go that way because when we can't do it, I'm going to let you know God can. Yes, can. And, and, and God wants you to depend on him. Yes. Listen, he wants you to know that he can. And so although in some instances I, I find out he's the last one we turn to. <laughs> yeah, God is the last one on the list. I got mama at the top, daddy, listen, husband, wife, I got children, I got friends, I, amen, I even got maybe some bosses, I guess, but, but the God is on the last of the list. Because we go through everybody to get to God. Amen. And, and we got to understand what David said in Psalm 46 and 1, that God is our refuge and our strength. Yeah. He's a present help. Yeah. Yes, Lord, and, and very present help in trouble. Yeah. And, and, and I don't know about you, but when I talk about this, it seems like God is looking good. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah. God looks like he's the one that I need. And, and let me turn it around that you also need because you got to realize where all your help comes from. I don't have to remind you who woke you up this morning. I don't have to remind you who watched over you all night while you slept. I'm going to remind you who even put you to sleep. But you ought to know it was God. And if God is that trusted, why can't we depend on him? 
Because one thing that I love is that God will be there when we need him. Anybody yes. found that to be yes. true? Yes. That God will be there when I need him. Yes. And, and, and I'm glad that he's like the old church said. He may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. And, and, and I'm glad that that's timeless. Amen, Brother Cooley. Because listen, no matter when I'm going off the scene, I believe that somebody behind me is going to be to remind us of saints. Yeah, yeah. That he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Okay. Amen. And, and, and I don't know about you, I just want to let you know, brothers and sisters, you can depend on God. And, and look at, listen closely as we look at this and examine this. Because first of all, the writer would suggest that he is our helper. Yeah. I'm glad he arrives at that very quickly because... He said, I'm going to lift up my eyes to the hills. Yeah. Amen. Looking up at those hills, those mountains. And, and, and if you know this, this text carefully, actually verse 1 is a question. From which cometh my help? In the original text, it's a question because you and I know that our help ain't in no mountains. Amen. 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 That's why the writer quickly moves to verse 2 and tells you this. My help coming from the Lord. And, yeah. and he magnifies the fact that he's a creator because he made heaven and earth. Yeah. And, and, and so you got to know that he is our helper. That's yeah. the reason you ought to be able to depend on him because he is help when you need him. And yeah. isn't it good that by helper that means that he also provides? Yes, God will give you what you need. That's, and I don't know about you, brothers and sisters, I'm so glad that the writer is sounding personal in verse 1 and 2, what he discovered about his God. Anybody that discovered something about your God? I know you can't tell it right now, but, but I know you found out about him and what he's able to do. And, but this writer quickly says that since I don't know what to do, I'm looking to somebody. I'm I'm looking at somebody I know to be my helper. And he, he's, listen, he's helped when I need him. And, and I don't know about you, I'm glad that the writer suggests that my help, your help, cometh from the Lord. And, and, and listen, watch out there because you got to realize where your help comes from. Amen. Amen. I'm glad that he is our help. Thank you. Amen. That means that he provides for us. Listen, he gives us what we need. That, listen, he knows how to come in our lives and show up at the right time when we need his help. Yes. And I'm so glad that I can trust him to be my, I can depend on him to be my help. Anybody here today can do the same? Listen, do you know that if I depend on God, he is my helper? Listen, when I'm in trouble, listen, when I'm down and out, when I'm burdened down, God is my help. Yes, sir. And I'm so glad that because of it, I can depend on him. But secondly, we discover that he is our keeper. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, that sounds good because that writer will suggest that, listen, he will not suffer my foot, your foot, to be moved. You know, and, and that means that the Lord ain't going to let nothing really disturb you or shake you too much because he going to, listen, he that keepeth you, there it is, will not slumber. And do you know who's the one that's keeping you? That's God. And I'm glad that God never gets tired. He, he never gets frustrated when he got to slumber and worry about this and that. He's keeping you. In the midst of what you're going through. And, 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 and then it says, Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Yeah. And I want to let you know that God is never sleep. Amen. Amen. Don't you know that while you're sleeping, God is awake. Yes, he is. And, and see, he never gets tired because he got to watch out for us. Yes, sir. And, and, and not because he ever grows weak, he never loses his power. He is all powerful. All and, and that's why he can hold the world in the palm of his hand. Yeah. And I'm so glad he can keep us, brothers and sisters, because I'm glad the writer said he can keep it Israel. And he spoke of Israel first, but let's put us in there. Mm -hmm. Listen, he can keep it us. Shall be the son of no sleep. And, 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 and finally, he said, the Lord is simply your keeper. 
Amen. And, and I'm so glad that he is, yes. saints, because he's the shade upon our right yes. hand. Yes. And I don't know about you, that keeper means he is our protection. Yes. I'm going to make it plain right there. That means he will protect us yes. by being our keeper. And, and aren't you glad to know that he is your keeper? Yes. And because he's your keeper, you can what? Depend on him. Oh. I'm telling y'all, this is making God look good, huh? Yes. And that this more convincing that I got reasons why I can depend on God. And I have seen that he's my helper, he's my keeper, and, and knowing that he protects us. And, you know, listen, he protects you going in and going out. He protects us, listen, wherever we might go because God will keep his people. Whenever I call up Isaiah right now in that 26th chapter, Isaiah said he'll do this if you keep your mind, stay on him. He'll keep you what? In perfect peace. And that's because you trust in him. And, and, and I don't know about you when you talk about keep, but God can keep you. He can keep you from the hand of the enemy. And, and don't you know the enemy desires to have us? Right now, he's been trying to get in somebody's house. Amen. If I'm talking to somebody, he He's been trying to shake things up. He, he's been trying to divide us and make us angry and quit loving each other. But listen, when God keeps you, he'll keep you even from the enemy. And, and, and listen, if, if the writer could talk today, he'll tell you his own story about how God has kept him. But, but finally, my friends, I'm glad that the last thing we discovered that he is our preserver. And, yeah. and, and when you end up this psalm, you'll see why he is a preserver. That, that means that God shelters us. Because yeah. he says about the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by That means that God is preserving you. He's sheltering you from those things. And, and he says the Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. I thank God for that. Because evil, listen, wants to get a hold of us. Yeah. Wants to conquer us and destroy you. But listen, he said the Lord shall preserve you from all evil. Not some, but all evil. Yeah. He not shall only do that, but preserve your soul. Yeah. Isn't that good news? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'll shelter your soul. Yeah. yeah, he'll preserve you from evil. And, 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 and I'm so glad that he don't stop there because he said the Lord should preserve. Here it is. Yeah. You're going out and you're coming in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Listen, we could stop there, but I'm glad he said there's more to that because in this time, he says forth, and here it is, even forevermore. Hallelujah. So, so don't think it's just a temporary going out and coming in and he's going to shelter you, but he's going to do it right now and forevermore. Listen, that's good news. To know that you listen can depend on God to come through like that because this writer no doubt had some experience with God enough that he discovered some things about why he could depend on his God. He, he realized who God is. He's a helper, he's a keeper, and he's a preserver. And, and when you think about that, look at your own lives and see what God has done to say. You discover that God did the same that he did for the writer. Yeah. Listen, he was there to help you. Yeah. He was there to keep you. And yeah. he was finally there to preserve you. And, and I don't know about you, that it just makes our God up, looks good and makes him look greater. And it gives proof to us that you and I can depend on God. Up. And all I want you to do is believe it and receive it. Uh, because one thing about the Lord, you can depend on him. Because uh, in a time like this, uh, somebody needs to know that God is still on the throne. Because I know sometimes our troubles can get the best of us. Uh, listen, we can get bad news after bad news. Uh, that it almost destroy our lives. Uh, but I stop today to remind somebody uh, that there is someone uh, who promised to be there, uh, who promised that I can be your help uh, in your time of trouble. Uh, isn't it good news? Uh, we serve a God we can depend on. Uh, and I'm glad and grateful today. Uh, I stand with 
with the right. Uh, I'm going to lift up my eyes uh, to the hills. Uh, listen, just because they there. Because uh, I believe that somebody, uh, listen, is a little higher than the hills. Uh, listen, I get it when he says I'm going to lift up my eyes. Because uh, I can't just focus on the hills. Uh, but my eyes, uh, if they keep looking up, uh, they'll find out that there's somebody uh, beyond the mountains, uh, beyond the hills, uh, that you and I can depend on. Uh, isn't that good news? Uh, to know we got a God uh, that we can depend on. Uh, you may not know him, uh, but after hearing the text, uh, you ought to be convinced uh, that I got to know uh, who this God is. Uh, I got to discover uh, what this writer uh, will speak as though uh, he had a connection with God. Uh, but I want to let you know uh, he indeed uh, knew his God. Uh, that's why he said personally, uh, my help, uh, not your help, uh, but my help uh, coming from the Lord, uh, which made uh, heaven and earth. Uh, listen, brother, sister, uh, that's personal uh, that the writer is saying. Uh, that's personal enough uh, to convince us uh, where our help uh, can come from. Uh, brother and sister, uh, hear me right now. Uh, you can uh, depend on God. Uh, just don't uh, ride on somebody. Uh, testimony. Uh, find out uh, for yourself uh, that you and I uh, can also uh, depend on God. Uh, well, uh, as I think uh, I thought you ought to know uh, where your help uh, comes from. Uh, anybody here uh, know where your help uh, comes from? Uh, it's not in a person. Uh, it's not in a power source. Uh, but it's in God. Uh, yeah. Uh, God. Uh, the writer says, uh, my help uh, comes from the Lord uh, who made uh, heaven and earth. Uh, anybody with me? The God, uh, you know something about uh, That's the God uh, who provided uh, your need. Uh, we need to do it. Uh, I am the best. Uh, I can. Uh, you can. The King of God. Uh, anybody here? Uh, I am here. Uh, for yourself. Uh, anybody found out? Uh, God will uh, come through. Uh, won't he do it? Uh, Yes, Lord. And I am convinced 
Ain't nobody do me like the Lord. I'm gonna keep on. Listen, if I'm not myself, a lot of learn I can listen, encourage myself in the Lord. And I, I don't need no crowd for me to encourage myself in Him. Now listen, me and God can have our own. in him. Keep believing in him. And God will see you through. What he do? I am convinced there is none like him. Amen. He's capital G-O-D. He's God. And I'm glad to know that he is. And I'm glad that I can, you can depend on God. Take that personal today. Keep on depending on him. Because my question, has he let you down? No, no. no. Amen. And I confess today that the Lord has never failed me yet. Anybody in here is a witness to that? He will never, ever, ever absolutely fail. Amen. He's just God all by himself. Convinced whoever you are today, if you needed this, God told me you can depend on Him. No matter what the naysayers have told you, what doctors have said to you, you better know the doctor who has never lost a patient. Amen. And I want to let you know He can be depended on. He is the help we need, especially right now. If it wasn't for the Lord who was on our side, we wouldn't be here right now. But I'm glad to know because there were saints who depended on God. Look how far he has brought us. Yes, God. And guess what? There's still some time that he wants to take us to love. But keep on depending on him. That's our word to you. Keep on depending on God. And God will take care of you. Yes, he will. He'll do it. Amen. But at this time, I know it's time that we should extend our invitation. Amen. To someone that might be listening, someone that might be present today, while this chair is here, if you're here today and feel the need to want to come and give your life to our Savior, now is a good time. Amen, just to meet Jesus, to give him your heart. Amen, and let him save your soul. Because we are still believing, brothers and sisters, that there is salvation in the Lord Jesus. Because if thou shalt confess thy mouth, the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. Scripture says that thou shalt be saved. And aren't you glad that because we're dependent on God, he sent his son to save us. And that son died, went to a grave, but he rose early the third day morning. And I'm glad that even right now we can still depend on him. That's all God wants us to do. That's what's going to get us through these times. As knowing we got God, we can turn to. We can lift our eyes to Him. We can see His face. And God wants us to understand we need Him in a time like this. Amen. And we ain't going to make it without God being in our lives. Amen. But if there's someone that's listening, watching today, Amen. Certainly, if you need to call us and talk, Amen. We give our number out each Sunday during this service. Church number 219-944-7960. And even my own number, 219-201-5676. We certainly would be glad if you called us. Because in a time like this, it is God that we need. It is God that's going to help us. God that's going to keep us. And God is going to preserve us, even our soul. 
Amen. Isn't that good? Yeah. Because of those things, what the writer said, you can depend on God. Yeah. Amen. God bless you. Amen. We see there is none. But we certainly thank God for our invitation to our Savior. Because we know that he's the reason for all of this. Yeah. And without him, what we do would be in vain. Yeah. But aren't you glad it's because of him? that we are alive. And not only that, that one day he's coming back to take us home. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Yes. Amen. God bless we certainly want to thank the voices in the background for what they have rendered during that song. That song at that time and certainly we thank the Lord this is our first Sunday amen. amen where we are to take our Lord's Supper and we certainly want to thank the Lord for this day that has come and thank God for our obedience to continue to observe this because this is so meaningful that Jesus would think that much of the saints amen. to uh, do this Amen. As a commemoration of what he did. And what did he do? He gave his life for us. And it's so good that the Lord did because he proved what his father uh, had demonstrated his love towards us. And so those that might be watching us who are prepared to take the Lord's Supper with us this day, uh, we certainly are inviting you. Uh, if you can, as they say at home, don't have what we have, get, as they say, like we did in old days, get a cracker and a little juice. Amen. Because it's not in the elements. No, no, that, that's just formality. But it's really doing what he said. Because if it was all about that, we would have to go back to the pages of the scriptures and get the real. Amen. That's right. <laughs> Amen. We have to get the real elements. But thank God that we have these temporary things uh, to be able to still do what this is meant for. Amen. So everyone in here today have uh, received their cup with their bread. And amen. I have one hand uh, that did not. Uh, so I need to have um, two. Okay. I have two. One over here on my side and on the other side, Sister Lindsay. Amen. And we're going to also, everybody back in the choir stand. All right. Up this way, Nason. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. So, so let us see. Let's get ready. I'll pray. Uh, and that'll give you some time, uh, certainly, to get yourselves ready. But let us bow. God, we thank you again for the privilege today to be able to do what you have left us to do. In remembrance of you, that is to take your supper, Lord, the bread which represents your body that we eat of, and then the cup that we represents the blood of that New Testament. And so, God, we pray that as each one take, that they would be reminded of what you did on that night in which you were gathered with your disciples. So, God, we thank you for leaving us with the church, O oh Lord, to continue to remember you. And we understand that as often as we do it, we show forth your death until you return. So God, we thank you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, at this time, if we're ready, all right, let us take the bread and eat, which represents our Lord's body. And in like manner, let's drink of the cup, which represents his blood. Amen. As the scripture was saying, we do this in remembrance of him. Yeah. Amen. All right. So at this time, we want to uh, say farewell to those who have been viewing us on Facebook Live. And we certainly thank them again always for them joining in in our worship. And may the blessings of the Lord be upon them. Amen.